It's out for my afternoon hovercraft stroll. All right, listen up, guys. Today's video is sponsored by ShipStation, which just so happens to be the shipping software that we use for cleesmcfarland.com or valdeagle.com. We've been using ShipStation for a while, so it worked out great that they sponsored today's live action. If you guys don't know what ShipStation is, it is an industry-leading web-based software for shipping orders. So do you have an online store? Love what you do? You're selling what the people want? Orders are coming in fast. Now it's time for the hard part, and that is shipping your products. Take it from a guy who has shipped many, many t-shirts out of his own bedroom. I know that shipping is the hardest part of online business. And ShipStation could not make it easier to import, manage, and ship all of your products as quickly as possible. And check this out. If you go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone up at the top, and type in Cletus, they are now offering to you guys specifically a 60-day free trial. That is two months of hassle-free shipping on ShipStation. And how can I forget to mention that ShipStation has exclusive rates with all of the major shipping companies, UPS, FedEx, USPS, and they give you access to those rates no matter how small or big your company may be. So guys, please, after this video, head over to ShipStation.com or click the link in the description below. Click the microphone up at the top of the page, type in code Cletus, get access to those free two months of ShipStation. And thank you to ShipStation for sponsoring today's video. But for now, let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Somebody order some freedom? Hell yeah. That's all I have. Ah, check this out. Not only do I have a Humvee, I have even more crucial equipment. By the way, we extended the uh, exhaust snorkel another five feet. Wanted to make sure she was dialed. I have Leroy's old oil pan. C6 oil pan for that there C5. Now nah, yeah, but I'll get some when I order those parts off Summit. That should do her, dude. I figure we just jump to the C6 pan now. Dude, the Humvee's looking die old. Drove on the trailer like it was nothing. Let's see the Donnie update in here. Drift night is two weeks away, dude. June 5th. Shoo -wee. Dang, there she is. LS7, AKA lots of uh, stout Freedom Bald Eagles. Oh, dang, dude. Is that a fresh oil pump on there, too? Right there, Texas Speed didn't want to slacken. Oh, man, Zach, you cleaned all this stuff? Dude, Donnie's getting the treatment. He said that this uh, steering rack has a high speed and a low speed, and he can wire it in so it's high speed all the time. Yep. Is that the truth? Yep. That's gonna rip. Right oh, dang. Variable steering rack. Yeah, guys, we got a bunch of uh, Holly parts too. Oh, you got the tech speed intake out. Fire me up. Yeah, so I do have to get some bigger injectors because Donnie only has 40 pound injectors. We're gonna do some 80s. Ah, uh, Motion Race for Steam Port Kit, dude. Be all your fixings from Motion mm, Race. Can't beat catch that. Can yep. Fixings, cover. Yep, we got a catch can. Oh, we got a gear bag for the track. Motion Race works going hard, dude. Oh yeah, there's the coil brackets for the valve covers. Nice looking valley cover, dude. All billet. Dang. All the fixings. I've got it at a Freaking A, Zach, you've been tearing it up, dude. So guys, Zach is working down here at the track. His sole job is to uh, get this thing finished by June 5th because we just have so much going on. And uh, you know, so we had to pull in some extra help and Zach is just freaking knocking it out. Got your fresh harness here from Holly. We're putting a Holly Dominator in this thing. There she is, dude, firing me up. Holly Dominator right here, dude. All fresh wiring for Donnie. This thing is going to be solid. Brand new car again. Yeah, we're starting to get over that whole like piece of car together step by step and just doing it right from the start because we actually go back and spend so much time like Ruby patching wiring on race week every day <laughs> and on the side of the road and just so much crap that we like end up, so many corners we end up pushing ourselves into by doing it that way. We just figured on Donnie, we might as well just freaking go full rip from the start, so. Yeah, this thing's too nice, it might end up back in the museum. Yeah, dude, might end up in that museum. This car really was a piece of junk, like as far as it's whoa, been wrecked whoa, from whoa. every direction. It's good to see it getting Easy. this treatment, dude. Donnie deserves it. Oh man, all right. Well, uh, these boys are gonna seal up this engine. I have to run back to my house and get Rocket. 
and I'm sure by the time I get back, they'll have it in. All right, so as you can see, we got the pan on, mounts on, clutches on, bell housings on. We're about to mate the new motor to the cradle and put the cradle back in the car. So this way it's all in there and then we can start with, uh, Zach's gonna be doing some wiring on it, get that stuff going. We have a new front cover being that this is a 58X crank. We had to get a Gen 4 front cover that has the cam sensor in it. So we got that coming. We get the motor sealed up with that once it gets here with the new ATI balancer, all the fixings. But as far as this goes, still the same clutch, still the monster deal in there. And uh, we're gonna get this on that with some new solid motor mount bushings and get that back in the car and uh, start making some more headway with it. All right, guys, even though the Humvee is conveniently on this trailer, I'm gonna drive it home really quick where Rocket is and pick up the drift car and bring it back to the Freedom Factory. It's one thing for sure, dude, this thing always starts. As long as, as, long as it's not hydro-locked, I'm sitting on this uh, strap. As long as it's not hydro-locked, dude, guaranteed fire up. Never heard a turnover for more than three seconds. See, that was 2.5 seconds. Never more than three seconds. I love this truck. I don't know why it's so awesome, it just is. Hey, listen, she may not be the peppiest in the fleet, but she's capable. Oh, brother. She's a capable unit. Dude, are you freaking kidding me, dude? This thing just exploded. I think it's power steering fluid. I lost power steering. Are you effing kidding me? Oh my god, that's all I can see out of him. Unbelievable. Can I turn on the windshield wiper? Alright, well guys, let's look on the bright side. I don't think you need power steering to drive underwater. You know, that's something that's some solid, solid thing to think about. But, you know, this is uh this is kind of unfortunate. Well, I suppose here goes nothing. Oof. That made it a little better, actually. Oh, unreal, dude. We had a freaking line blow off. That's Hey, that's good, though. That's an easy fix, dude. Trans fluid everywhere. What are you going to do? All right, so for those of you who watch Cleus and Cars Indy, you saw in the video Rocket was back. Tim fixed the control arm, so let's drive to the Freedom Factory now and give it a test rip. Hell yeah. Look at that oil pressure, baby. Woo. Still good, still got it. All right, so one thing I just noticed that should probably be addressed is uh, we're missing some bolts for the steering wheel. And it's vibrating. And it's actually backing out the other screws, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those before we do this. Ah, beautiful day at the Freedom Factory. You know what? It's been a while since I've overheated this thing. For that matter, we might as well just drift the whole Freedom Factory.
almost crashed 86 times. <laughs> Ready to go to work? Yeah. Let's do it. I have almost died a couple times and crashed a couple times, but that was one take. She might be a little warm. Overheated her. Just like I wanted. God dang, dude, I come freaking back and there she is. Subframed up, engined up. Engines on subframe, clutch, bell housings are on it. The motor's pretty much sealed up yeah. to, with tape until we get the rest of our coverage in there. Yep. I mean, the good news is we had the freaking uh, monster clutch and all that back there already. Yeah, so. the clutch and transmission, like you said before, is already yeah. what it needs to be to meet this motor. So. Yep. Okay. Saw a little Donnie update, dude. I guess uh, a couple days and we'll hopefully have it running maybe a week. We got to do some wiring, huh? Yep. Got some splicing to do. <laughs> Hopefully not next week. All right, and uh, as far as Rocket goes, guys, she is running perfect. So she's ready for drift night. Probably not gonna mess with it much more. Maybe a set of tires. Uh, my buddy Sean is actually gonna be driving her on drift night because he let me drive his Finturbo C5 for the Hoonigan shoot that I did, which hopefully I can show you guys footage on that soon. But since he hooked me up, I'm gonna let him drive Rocket June 5th. He's gonna fly in. And that should be pretty fun. But we have 50 cars signed up for June 5th. Vaughn Gittin Jr. And that doesn't even include like Adam LZ and Taylor Ray who are, you know, usually about a 90% chance of coming. Can't guarantee it, but there's so many people signed up with so many gnarly cars. Like this is going to be easily the craziest drift event we've ever had, you know, but we've only had three. So <laughs> hard to say, but fired up, dude. Cars running good. Donnie's coming along. Everything's looking good for the drift night. June 5th, if you guys haven't already gotten your tickets, thefoat.com, you can grab tickets. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.